All right, what's up, Warriors of Jigoku? So this is just going to be a small little announcement and everything. So I have decided to do a non-canon world. Uh, I mentioned this probably before that I was going to do a non-canon kind of story here and everything. So this is what's going to happen. So for Fan Lore Fridays, which we have lovingly all created here together, and you guys have been putting in a lot of support for it and everything, I'm actually amazed at how many people have already really quickly gave me uh, their characters, which... I'm really happy that you all trust me with that. That is awesome. And of course, once again, I will give you all plenty of credit when credit is due when you guys, when I showcase the characters on here. So this is pretty much just going to be showing off the characters that I have created here. All of them canon in my actual story, but in putting them in a non-canon story for the sake of Fan Lore Friday. So this is pretty much just going to be something to get you guys really more participated in. So you guys are going to be allowed to decide what uh, army or affiliation you want to have. So we're going to start off with the Shiwang. The Shiwang are people of, if you know the, the English way of saying it, it is hope. These people derive on hope. They are the hope of the people. They are pretty much the main army branch of this gate, of this, not game, of this land that is non-canon. And that is pretty much what they go for. They always try to keep peace. They are always, like, the ones who are trying to inspire hope in their people. The Kage are pretty much, just as they are, they are shadow. They are people. They do not uh, really have... They don't really derive much on emotion as much as they just derive on just completing their job and everything, regardless of how they get it done. So that is pretty much what is going on there. And then there is also the Hu Young, who are... Who is... The reason why it's called Hu Young is... Uh, it is pretty much just the way of saying flame, and it is because it is led by someone who masters the flame art. So, and that's why he has the flame blade, as you'll see in one of the screenshots. He's going to be right there, on the right side. So, um, the Hu Young are pretty much, the army is pretty much actually just a branch of mercenaries that are always hired whenever the, um, the Shi Wong are in desperate need of muscle. However, something happened here when all three of these were once, like, allies and friends controlling this land, ended up having something drastic happen to where the Kage and the Bo Young ended up at each other's throats, and then the Shi Wong are trying to step in and quell this chaos. So this is why it's going into a complete, utter, three-way deadlock right now for the land. So it is pretty much up to you guys. What, what side interests you more? Is it the Kage, who are pretty much just the shadows and ninja kind of area? You don't have to be a ninja, obviously. This is just for, like... If, if their personality suits the Kage army, then that is something that you guys would obviously go for. If you are more of like a mercenary type of person who wants to just be freelanced, then you would obviously go for the Huo Young. If you are someone who wants to give hope to the people and everything, then you are someone who will go for the Shi Wong. So why are Hikari and Kuno here? So, like I said, this is a non-canon story, and I've decided to give them a completely new and fresh look for this new weapon new look so as you can see when you see them kuno or yeah kuno is in a new like decked out purple fancy looking outfit because non-canon i can do this and then there is also hikari who actually is now running the cross pike and uh pretty much part of guanyin pings and then some new pants and leggings and everything so i really wanted to deck them out in something brand new which is really cool so uh this is something that I really, really decided to put time into and really uh, give some... It, it was just fun. I'm, I'm gibberishing because it was a lot of fun to do. So, it's pretty much up to you guys. I will give off the backstories for these characters in other videos, of course. And then I will also be revealing the commander, the actual commander for the Shi Wong army as well. Because Hikri and Kuno were brought over to this land to help quell this chaos. As Light has done for Hikri's will before. Hikari feels she is obliged to do what pretty much Light has done when she when he helped her save his save her realm and pretty much just repay the favor by doing this on her own without the assistance of Light. So that is why she's here and Kuno is here because she thrives with war. She loves the chaos and everything. So when she's there, she feels like she's at home and she loves to see people in English. So that is why we're doing this. So these two are here to help the Shiwon commander who we don't, do not know yet, but I've already created them. And we are pretty much there just to, just to, they're pretty much just there to just help end this war. That is pretty much their main cause. So which side are you on? You're going to see the Shiwang army, the Kage army, and the Hoi Young army. So at the end of the day, it is up to you guys who you want to align yourselves with. Have fun with it. 
Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you have someone who's already made a character and I've already made it for you, then just let me know, like, hey, so-and-so is uh, wants to be on this person's side or something. And I will obviously go more in-depth of the lore of this war that is happening here when we uh, get more into uh, uh, Van Lore Friday. That was the title. So, yeah. This is something cool. I'm going to show off the characters as well. I'm going to show off Hikari with her new look and cross pike, and I'm going to show off... Um, uh, Kuno with her new look and the new and her new weapon as well and then I'm gonna show off obviously the Kage army commander and then the whole young army commander so if you guys do end up enjoying this idea be sure to uh, hit that like button and obviously you are more than welcome to take part in this there's no deadline to do this you guys have all the time in the world you can easily do this because this I kind of want to try to make this a whole thing a new series and everything so that is completely in the power of your hands so Hope you guys enjoyed the trailers and everything. Try and hit 500 subs, by the way, before summer, and you guys have been woo, killing it so far. So can't wait to see how far we go with this. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoy the trailers, and I'll see you guys in the next video.